Hello and welcome everybody. So today for um, the start of our next lesson, we're going to be looking at making a nutcracker. All right. I figured since Christmas is coming up, uh, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can give this as a gift to somebody who does or a teacher. Um, it's just kind of fun to make. Um, and it's a little quick filler project since we'll be going on break soon. I didn't want to start something and then not be able to finish it. So these will be due right before you get uh, going to Christmas break, all right? And then plus you can take them with you um, for the holiday. So the way to make one of these guys, you're going to need three things to start. You're going to need um, a paper towel tube, all right? So a long paper towel tube. And then you're also going to need two toilet paper tubes. Okay, so here I've got two toilet paper tubes, you can see they're much shorter, all right? And we're not actually gonna use the whole paper towel tube. So this one tube is gonna outfit two students um, as far as the midsection of their nutcracker. So you wanna cut it in half, all right? And you'll see that even half of one of these tubes is still larger than a toilet paper tube, okay? And we want that. So in order to get the arms and legs made, we're actually going to take our toilet paper tubes and you're going to cut them in half. So what I do is I squish them like this, and then you're going to cut right on that fold. So one, and two. Okay, so you're going to do that to both of your toilet paper tubes. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to take them and you're going to roll them, put glue along that edge, so some hot glue, and then you're going to glue them into a smaller tube, okay? So just like that. So if it fits around your finger, that's perfect. And you need four of those, all right? So two for the arms, two for the legs, okay? So once you get your four uh, limbs made, Okay, you're going to um, make the boots, okay? So you can see this boot is just a kind of a triangular piece and then a rectangle that goes around the back. And that actually helps it stand up. So it stands up right like that on its own and yours will need to do the same, all right? Because if you don't make it stand, it's kind of silly. You gotta lean it up against things. So we wanna make it stand. So to do that, you're actually gonna take just an extra toilet paper tube and that one tube should outfit a few students okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut whoops that just went flying okay I'm going to cut a, a ring about this size and what I'm going to do is cut it diagonally, okay? So that's going to give me two shapes, like this and that, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to flip it upside down. And that part actually goes around your tube, like this, okay? So that's going to be the little front to his boot. All right, now if you've got extra um, paper, you could do two things. You can wrap it around itself like this. Okay. Or you can just cut it where it hangs off. So it hangs off right there. So I'm going to cut it here and there. Okay. What you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure this edge gets lined up with the bottom of the tube. Okay, you don't want it like this because then it's still only going to be standing on that tube. We want it to stand on the tube but also have support out front. Okay, so that it looks like that. So you've got another one for your other leg 
and then you can take another piece of this and you should be able to cut that in half like this and like that okay and that's just going to once you get this glued like so okay that's going to go off the back of the boot like this okay so this is probably the trickiest part out of the whole thing so if you need my help don't be afraid to ask okay once you get all the parts made you're going to consider uh, what color you're going to make this character okay this nutcracker you can start by painting the hand on two of your arms all right so that's this little part right here and then once you've got your boots made you can go about halfway up the leg and color the whole boot and leg uh, from halfway down um, black okay once those parts are done then you really can't make any forward movement until you figure out where uh, or what color you're gonna make your coat okay things you could do uh, if, you, if you really want to think about the color of your coat is you could mark off where you're going to make your face and it's usually about level with the top of the shoulder. So I'm just going to draw a line there. So this is going to be my face. But you notice that my beard goes down in front of my body. Okay. So what I would do is then design your beard. It just can be like a, a long triangular shape. You don't want it to be too perfect in triangularity because then it's just going to look goofy you want it to be a little wobbly okay so now I know that from here up is going to get my flesh tone color all right you can make his flesh tone or her flesh tone I guess if you want this to be a woman you can not have a beard I don't know um, that's all going to be flesh tone and then you also do want to paint up for the mustache and your mouth is going to go somewhere right here Okay, so the little adornments or, um, you know, extra stuff that you put on can be done last, all right, um, so you don't get any paint on the pom-poms or the pipe cleaners and things like that, okay? So hopefully this helped, um, and the rest we can cover in class, or you can kind of just make up as you go as far as how you're going to paint it. Um, doesn't have to be flat color, you can make stripes, um, and what have you, okay?